What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say I'm doing a Jordan 1 raffle on the Jordan 1 Top 3. Every raffle entry is a dollar, and if you're looking to join, I will leave a link to where you can purchase that in the description down below. There are only 45 entries left, so make sure you get them before they're all gone. Anyways, today we're doing the first custom of the channel, which it really isn't a custom, but it is something different on the shoe, so I guess you can call it a custom. And basically all it is is putting laces on the Nike Sock Dart. As you guys can see, this is a regular Nike Sock Dart without the laces. It doesn't come with it at all. And this is the one I put it on. I had actually laces just laying around from the time that I bought them from Champs or Fulog or whatever, one of those stores. But I decided to put them on and see how it would look. And honestly, I am feeling the laces more because usually when I see this shoe, from the side it looks really nice. But then from, when you look at it from the top, like when I'm walking, it looks like a weird like moccasin shoe. And I don't really like that. But you look at it from the top, it looks like something I would actually wear. But the only difference is that I'm going to put black laces on this one instead of the gray laces. Just because the gray laces don't really match with the shoe, they are a little off. And I will be using the spare laces for my red ones that I do own. So originally what I was going to do is, I know you guys can see the holes right here in this material. I was going to punch bigger holes in them so I can put the laces through. And then I was going to make holes on the side. But then I figured, like, what if I rip it? It's not going to look good and it's just going to look terrible. And I won't be able to fix that. So I was like, whatever. I'm just going to put it through the holes here since it does come with holes already. So I was like, whatever. Let me just try it. So before you start putting these laces through the holes, what you want to do is get this to the right spot. Tighten it so it is, like the way you want it to be because once it's there you're not gonna be able to take it off unless you take the shoelaces off but that's just a big pain so I would recommend you to put it right now where you want it to be and if you do make it too loose it doesn't really matter because you could tighten it with laces after so once you got the straps adjusted to where you want it to be you want to start off by putting the laces that are at the holes at the very bottom so in this case it would be that one right there and on this side it would be that one right there and you want to put it on from the outside to the inside so basically it's gonna be like that, and then you grab the tip of your shoelace, and then you put it in through there. All right, so once you get it on, you wanna keep it just snug. We have a, if you have a shoe train there like I do, you wanna keep it at that point because that's exactly where your foot will be when you have your foot in the shoe. And also tip when you're lacing the shoe, you wanna have like that Yeezy concept. I don't know if you guys own a pair, if you guys have seen them. But as you guys can see, the shoelace comes in through here, and then goes under the shoe, and then comes out through here. And then it goes across the shoe. So that's kind of the concept you wanna follow, and since you have a lot of holes, it is a lot easier to do. All right, so from the hole that we're at, you want to move over literally horizontally over to that hole. And you want to go under the cage and out through this hole. And on this side, you want to do the same thing. Just go horizontally and go under the cage and then come out through that hole right there. Or you can follow whatever pattern you want. What I'm doing is basically making it go in a line, but you can also make it go like up, down, up, down, up, down. And right now I'm just going to work with the shoe and see what works best for me. But what I just told you guys worked good for it going in a straight line. Alright, so this custom was probably a complete fail to show you guys. It's probably a complete fail of a video just because it's actually a lot harder to show you guys than I thought it would be just because it's uneven when you put it through the holes. Alright, as you guys can see, the shoes are pretty much not even. Like the holes on each side are even but then like they're even on here but then if you turn them around they don't really line up the same way like the angles are not the same like the way the dots line up like on the inside of the shoe the dots kind of go at a more of an upward angle on the outside they kind of go more of at a back angle so here i have two examples to show you guys if you guys do want to lace up your shoes and custom the way i did you can go ahead and do that but there really is no exact way of showing you guys because I was doing it and at one point I was just like screw it I'm just freehanding it because it was just so hard to like actually tell you guys what hole to put it through every single time. On this pair with the black laces I kind of try to keep it along the bottom of the cage but on this pair I kind of try to keep it on the top of the cage as you can see it kind of went upward here you guys can see the difference one goes up one goes flat and I kind of like the black one better it's more even it goes flat it looks better in my opinion. But the inside, you can see, it's like just kind of all over the place. There's no consistency to it at all. But overall, I think I'm just going to keep the shoes the way they are. I mean, I'm obviously going to put the black laces on this one. But I like the laces a lot more just because it does seem a lot more wearable than it does without the laces. I'm sorry for this being such a terrible video. It was just, I expected this to go a lot better than it should have. But it's just a lot harder to show you guys. You kind of just got to freestyle it and try to do your own thing to get it the way you want it to look. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video... Or if you didn't, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whichever one you feel like clicking. But regardless of what you choose, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Sneaker Comfort Lauderdale, which is on February 11th. 
and stay tuned to the channel for big surprises that are coming. I do have a few things in mind that I think you guys would like. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Brandon Lozano. He is a day one. I've seen him commenting on my videos pretty much every single one. And shout out to him for always showing love in the comments. I really do appreciate that and I do notice that. Make sure you stay woke. I suck at doing customs. Alright, I think you sign out. Peace.